Hello, my name is Sharon Boyce, and I have the privilege of being the Director of Strategic Advancement for the Florida Holocaust Museum. Today is the 2020 Giving Challenge, a 24-hour giving event presented by the Community Foundation of Sarasota County. We are raising money to support Holocaust education and virtual resources for teachers and students in response to COVID-19. Throughout the day, we will be featuring examples of how we are delivering these essential learning tools throughout our region and the entire state of Florida. We realize this is a very difficult and challenging time for all of us. If you are able to support us in any way, we need your help now more than ever. The Patterson Foundation will match any donation up to $100 made during the Giving Challenge on our page at www.givingpartnerchallenge.org. Thank you for being the one to help us lead, to educate, to change the world. Hello, my name is Ursula Shapinska, and it's my great privilege to introduce you to the Florida Holocaust Museum's permanent exhibition through our new virtual tour. First, let me show you how to get to the virtual tour on our website. And the museum website is thefhm.org or flholocaustmuseum.org. And when you get to the website, you can see the slider with a virtual tour. You can just click on it and it will take you to the page or you can go to the Learn tab and the virtual tour is at the first item on the menu. Once you're on the page, you have a brief description of the project and then you can access the tour two ways. You can either click here, begin with the introduction, and you will go station by station through the tour, or you can access a full screen version here and either begin with the introduction and move station by station or pick items from the menu in the upper left hand corner. On the introductory page you can find information about the Florida Holocaust Museum and you can start your tour of the permanent exhibition. You can either click on the blue button at the bottom of the page or you can go to the menu and choose items that are of interest to you. I will click on the button and it takes us to the map of the permanent exhibition. Uh, you can continue with the tour by clicking on the button at the bottom or choose items from the menu. Or you can actually click on different sections of this map to access a part of the exhibition that is of particular interest to you. So we are now in the Kristallnacht section of the permanent exhibition. You can see what it looks like at the museum. And now on the screen, you can access all the items that are part of the permanent exhibition. So you have historical information, you have primary sources, images, with citations, which is very important for your students who are learning to use um, primary sources. And you have maps as well. I will click on this map here and you can enlarge it on your screen. You can see all the details. And again, you have the information for the source of the map if you would like to use it in your classroom. In addition to maps, many sections of the permanent exhibition have timelines. This is an anti-Semitism timeline at the museum and you can access it through the virtual tour here. As you can see, the timeline goes chronologically through different events. By clicking here, you can search for a specific event. You can also change the way the timeline looks on your screen. All the items on the timeline are clickable and you can find out more about them. This feature here allows you to choose between a 2D and 3D view. You can go through different dates on the timeline and look for an event you would like to explore. You can click on the picture and enlarge it. And you can read more about this particular event. Here you can see other items on the timeline that correspond with that particular year. 
I would like to draw your attention to some of the artifacts that are part of the permanent exhibition. I will use as an example the story of Tuvia Bielski, a Jewish man who led a partisan unit in Belarus, and his unit saved over 1,200 Jewish men, women, and children. You can read about Tuvia by clicking on his name, and that's what you will see. There is also a bigger version of his photograph. Or you can click on the next image and see a shirt that was worn by Tuvia in the forest in Belarus. You can see the source information and every detail of that artifact. In the boxcar gallery, you can see highlights from the History, Heritage and Hope wall, a big wall at the museum with photographs of some of the victims of the Holocaust and some of our survivors. You can either click through this gallery and find out more about every individual featured here. You can click on the name to enlarge the picture and see the information. Or you can download a PDF with the most updated information about these individuals. Thank you for letting me share the virtual tour with you. You can send questions to education at thefhm.org.